as it's Leroy Tademy here again, and I'm just here to talk to you guys a little bit today about how to take sharper pictures with your camera. Um, I just picked up this 6D Mark II uh, at Shutterfest, and I bought an adapter because I still have my EF lenses, so I'm not actually going to be able to show you guys while I'm talking, but I want to walk you guys through a few tricks and tips that I have to give you guys sharper images when you're taking photos. So, one thing that I like to tell a lot of people is send your camera once a year and your lenses off to your manufacturer. Have them calibrate it. Or if you don't have access to your camera manufacturer, send them off to a camera store and let them look at it and calibrate your lenses and your camera bodies just to make sure everything is working right. That's tip number one. Tip number two, use the back focus button. Um, the cameras nowadays, the mirrorless cameras are super uh, intelligent, they can grab faces, they can go places uh, with focus that we can never go before, like all the edges. I remember when I was shooting, when I first started shooting back in 2011, um, I had the 5D Mark II, and I think I had nine focus points. Now I have like infinity, so my whole camera now has spaces. And it's like really, really amazing to be able to have focus anywhere on the camera. So, tip number two. Use the back button focus. So what's the back button focus? There's a button on here. You can either have a custom settings button or a, um, you can put it to back button focus. And all you do is you press this button and it's gonna focus. Inside the camera, you don't have to go with the standard auto focus to where it finds the face. You can change it. You can go in in these menus and move this little point all around to where you can touch anywhere on your camera that you would like, which is super convenient. And then once you have your selected point, you just click the back focus button and then you can pick where you're going at with your focus point. Pretty simple enough. Okay, so my third and final tip. It's probably not the most practical one, but it works. It's to use manual focus. Uh, sometimes I like to use manual focus if I'm shooting details of a something, maybe product photography, or I remember when I used to shoot a lot of weddings, I would use uh, the manual focus to do detail shots because I didn't have a 100, millim 100 millimeter macro. So I would just zoom in with manual focus. Um, so you turn off your, on your lens. Let me grab a lens. I don't know if you can see this lens that great, but on your lens, there's a button that says AF and there's a button that says MF. Um, so you take your lens from AF and you put it on MF. It stands for manual focus. Don't get it twisted. And then that allows you to work your focus ring, which is in the front, to decide where you want to focus. It's going to turn off all the auto controls so you'll be 100% in charge of what's in focus and what's not in focus. Oops, sorry for all the background noise. Uh, I'm in the airport about to fly back home from Shutterfest, but I really wanted to put this information out there for anybody who's interested. So put your lens in manual focus and turn and focus on to your desired taste and then look at it, make sure it looks like you want and then you can end it. I mean, then you can uh, move on to the next shot. But it's very, very, very important that you put it back on autofocus when you're done because the worst thing that can happen is you shoot the rest of your event on manual focus and the camera's gonna just fire. It's not gonna tell you that it's not on autofocus. It's just gonna fire, fire, fire. You'll get to your desk and you'll notice all your photos are soft. Trust me, I've made this mistake before. Don't do it. Make sure after you turn it, after you finish on manual focus, you turn it back to autofocus. Hey guys, I know that was really quick. Three tips to get sharper photos. A, get your lenses and your cameras calibrated. B, use the back button focus. Get off the little face dragger. Go back button focus if you need to. If the, if the face is working or the auto tracking is working, stick with that. There's no reason to change. But another option is the back button focus on a single point AF. Third and final, manual focus. Dial it in, hone it in, get exactly what you want, and go from there. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave them in the chat below, leave them in the, uh, in the messages below. I'm usually pretty good at answering uh, if you don't hear back from me within a day. I'm usually pretty good at answering within a day or two. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for uh, signing in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification, and um, to be notified when we do the next one. So have a great day, see you guys later, peace. Oh, happy Easter everybody. It's Saturday, so Easter's tomorrow. Happy Easter. This video is probably going to come out after Easter, but I just want everybody to have a happy Easter. And if you're watching this after Easter, I hope you had a super happy Easter. Peace.